Hello again, I'm John O, and uh, a couple of days ago I made a quick video on renaming tracks using the Cubase Project Logical Editor, and uh, a nice gentleman named Dylan pointed out the error of my thinking at the time. Um, I used two buttons to actually do this, and he pointed out that I could actually just use one button. Basically, I created a button that would um, delete, say if you're looking at the screen, it would delete that and then the next button would rename that so I'm going to show you how to do that in one I mean right now I want to actually rename these two um, that's how I want them all to look so here using the PLE let me actually find the command Here's one I made earlier, obviously. Right. Uh, oh, yeah, it takes a few minutes. I've got so many commands from different templates and building for people. Right. Okay, so filter target. The name has to contain, and then we have write the actual name. So at the moment, that is SSS space violins one and a space. And let's copy that. The boolean needs to be and, and then container type is equal to track. And um, if we added another command, we could actually have selected tracks. But I, I don't want to do that right now. And um, then the action target is name, replace the search string with exactly that in parameter one. Um, and this is how you would have created the first button that I made the other night. So if I press apply, that should delete all of this up until the hyphen. And there we go. Right, that's how you just delete all of that. Let's control Z that, command Z that. Now what we have to do in parameter two is change it to what we want. So I want SSS VLN one and a space as well for the hyphen. And now let's see what happens. Job done. And you could just literally do the next one, uh, violins two. And then I want to change that to two. And let's do that one. Renamed straight away. Thank you, Dylan. That's very useful. And uh, we'll keep this video short and sweet. Cubase tip number two, or 1.5. Anyway, till next time.